I don't say this often, but this is a really fun knot to tie. Um, I actually had it memorized after the first time of tying it myself, and that usually doesn't happen. I usually have to look it up five, six times before I actually have it memorized. Um, but it's called the plafond knot, or the two-strand Chinese lanyard knot, which is a mouthful, either way you say it. But to begin, we're just going to tie a bunch of overhand knots in the middle of our cord. So we want to start with a loop, and we're going to go left over right. That's pretty important. We want to do left over right each time. And we'll bring it up through the loop to just have a simple overhand knot. We want to leave a couple inches of loop at the top. Then we're going to make another one, just left over right. And we'll cinch that up fairly close to the original one, about like that. And once again, left over right. Leave a little bit bigger space in between those. And then last time, left over right, and cinch that fairly close. So you should have two knots, gap, another two knots. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, and so I'll try to show it nice and close to the camera so you can see what's going on. But we're gonna fold this one up so that our bottom knot is now in the middle of that larger gap. And then we're gonna take this top loop and we want to fold it so that it's a, a bite here. And we're going to bring it down through both of these knots. So you want to fold it down and open up that knot right in the middle and bring that folded cord down through. And then the same with our bottom cord. You want to make sure that you're actually hitting the middle of that knot. So now we've got a mess on our hands but it's actually a pretty symmetrical mess. I want to make sure that this loop doesn't slide out, so I'm going to pull that through a ways. And then we just have one quick step to finish this up. This left cord is going to go up through our top two knots. And again, just make sure that you hit the middle. So to show you what I mean, if you look at it from the top and push these apart, you'll see a little loop in the middle there. Pull that all the way through. And then this other one, we're going to do the same thing with, except this cord right here, we want to go underneath first. And then just up through the middle, right alongside that other cord. So now we have an even bigger mess, but to fix it, we can basically just tie, tie the ends here, or I mean pull on the ends. And that middle begins to cinch down, and if your cord is slippery enough, it'll actually take shape if you just keep on pulling. Mine kind of locked up here, so I'm just going to take my fingers and loosen that middle knot a little bit and feed these extra cords through. So here's what it looks like when it's all tightened down. Pretty cool square shape, um, a decorative knot that is often found in Chinese temples. So as this is called a Chinese lanyard knot, it definitely would look cool on a lanyard. Um, so on one like this, this is just a very basic lanyard that we have a tutorial for. Instead of doing the cobra knot, you could do one or two knots like this and it would definitely look like a cool lanyard. Hope you guys found that knot as fun to tie as I did. A little bit more complicated looking of a knot, but it's pretty simple once you know the steps. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.